water would find its own level. If all languages, even if uh, 20 people, just 20 people are speaking the language, they should be encouraged at all levels, wh- wherever you go. If you say you go to Accra, uh, you, you, you live in Accra, uh, the language of Accra should be encouraged. If you live in the Volta region, the, the language of the Volta people, the ever should be encouraged. If you live among the Akan, the Akan language should be encouraged. And the north, same. Now, if we are doing that side by side with the with the uh, so-called international language, that is the English, uh, we will not have much problem. Gradually, ours will take over the so-called international language. But as long as we have dropped it for fear that somebody's language will maybe override ours, and that is the fear. So you can see that Ghanaians are making conscious efforts of laying down our own language, laying down our own food, the type of food we eat, we're laying it down, the, the type of clothing we wear, we're laying it down. Everything about ours is being played down. The fear is that, okay, if we are not careful, uh, somebody uh, will take over the other. But it will not. If we are in the remotest village where... Uh, only a small group of people are speaking a particular language, and we uh, recognize it and make sure we protect it. It will remain. But we're not doing that. How many can read in our local language? But English, yes, because it has been uh, accepted that... uh, uh, Somebody who speaks good English is a person who is uh, enlightened. That is what we accept. That shouldn't be the case. If you go to school, it is written, speak English. If you speak uh, the local dialect, you would be spunked. All these things must be removed.